Hey everyone, welcome to Crafty Friday. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a kaleidoscope design. Let's get started. You're going to start with two sheets of plain white computer paper. Then find a round object that you can trace. You'll want to make one circle shape per sheet of paper. Now cut one of your circles out with a pair of scissors. Fold your circle in half three times to make a triangle shape. Then unfold it and pretend it's a pie or a pizza and cut one of the slices out. Next, trace the point of your triangle onto this circle four times right next to each other. Now your circle should look something like this. You can either continue to trace the triangle until the entire circle is full of equal sized slices or you can use a ruler to extend three of your lines across the entire circle. To make this particular design, I used graphite paper that I purchased from Michael's Craft Store to transfer the image from the slice onto the circle eight times. Draw some random lines and shape onto the triangle. If you have lines that touch the edge like this zigzag, you want to make sure that they line up on both sides of the triangle. And if you have half shapes, like a half heart, you want to make sure that those line up as well. Here's what I drew on my triangle. Place the slice down so you can see the design. Grab your carbon paper, then slide it under your triangle as far as you can while still keeping this down. You want the darker part of your carbon paper to face down. Then go over each line with the pencil. Once you've done that, then pull away the graphite paper and you'll see your design was duplicated onto the circle. The more time you spend perfecting your lines and measurements, the more symmetrical and perfect, per se, this design will be. When you trace the next one down, you're going to do the same thing. Put the graphite paper underneath and trace all the lines. And this is what I said about making sure your shapes line up because this half of the circle doesn't line up with this one. And the heart is kind of weird, and so is this line. But you can fix that as you go along. There's what it looks like. I actually made this design almost by hand. I did use a triangle to divide the circle evenly. But instead of drawing lines on it, I just totally skipped this step altogether. And I just drew the same shape in every circle by hand. Because as you can see, sometimes the carbon paper does mess you up a little bit. The carbon paper works best for people who are just getting into drawing and maybe can't draw symmetrical shapes freehand, or for people who are very precise and good at measuring. And I am not one of those people, unless I take my time and I get kind of um, impatient. Once you color all the designs on your circle and cut it out, you can attach it to some decorative scrapbook paper or cardstock with any type of adhesive. By the way, don't forget to check out these ombre leopard print shoes that I painted and all of my previous Crafty Friday crafts. Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to make an adorable narwhal clay charm. Right meow, you guys are looking at some pictures that viewers sent in of their handmade creations. There are so many different colors and styles and designs of this, and you guys all got super creative. Thank you guys so much for sending your awesome creations in. If any of you would like a chance to be featured in an upcoming Crafty Friday video, send your pictures to hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram, post them on my Facebook fan page, or tweet them to me on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all of my links in the down bar. And please, pretty please, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I put out new Crafty videos every Friday. So you definitely want to know when that happens and see it in your sub box. Alright, you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye! What is this? Yeah, I think you guys could find the most ridiculous screen caps in my videos ever created on this planet because I just do the weirdest thing. Sometimes I don't even realize that. No big deal.